to show you today how to equip this armor from the armor pack one onto the human characters. This uh, method will be the same for all of our armor packs. Uh, currently we've got armor pack two that's going to be rigged after armor pack one is complete. The humans are ready and the half orc and elf uh, rigging will be done this week. So if you're watching this in early August 2020, you should expect the updates to come soon. Uh, so this is one of the armors on the human female and uh, we're going to rig the human male and finish up the human female as well. Uh, and to do this, I'm going to find the human male prefab. In this case, uh, it's right here. I'm just going to open that up so we can see the prefab view. I'm going to find the prefabs for the uh, weapons and armor. Now, um, the armor is going to be inside here and we've got them separated into human male. These are all unrigged armor. Uh, and then this is all the human male and human female armor. Now, there's only one version of this because uh, instead of having four different prefabs, one for each texture on the character, it makes more sense to have the one prefab and then you can write some code if you'd like to change the textures on the fly, whatever works for your project. So I'm gonna take these five here, I'm just gonna drag these over to the human and we'll put them down here. First thing I'm gonna do is select these, right click and say unpack prefab completely. That will allow us to work with these uh, and not have to worry about their prefabs. All right, so the armors are over here. Uh, if that's the case, just bring them zero, 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 zero these out, and they should be in the correct position on the character. They're not yet rigged, of course. So the next thing we're going to do, expand these. We're just going to bring these outside of their parent structure for now. Just keeping it kind of organized just by moving it right above so we know where to move them down, even though they're labeled or named properly. All right, now this next step is just to run a script. If you look at any of these uh, objects, you see that they have this whole bone structure here. We're gonna remove these and link it to the human male bone structure. So select the human male base uh, object, go up to Windows, uh, SFA Studios, or this might be named Infinity PBR. Uh, and we're going to choose the character equip option. There we go. You notice all of these now have lost their bones. It's now equipped with the character. Um, and I'm going to bring these back into their parents just for easy organization purposes. Okay, and we'll turn some of these off by default. Um, now, if there are other objects that, uh, you know, intersect with this, you're going to have to turn those off as well. Obviously not all wardrobe will work together. So in this case, we're going to take off the dagger pouch. We'll take off the gladiator belt and these objects, these hanging things, and have a look there. Uh, it looks like we also have to turn off our pauldrons, or is this our spalder? Turn off all three of these. They're not needed with this armor set. There we go. All right, now we're going to X, X out of here, and we've got the prefab all ready to go. And then if we just press play, they should animate because they have their animator attached. There we go. So now we've got the uh, armor rigged and animated with this character. I'm going to just automatically I'm gonna trigger a attack. And, uh, there you go. So you can see the animations there. The last thing you might want to do is update the blend shapes as well to make sure this works with all the under right, underlying blend shapes. Um, I'm just gonna set the max range here just to really showcase this. And if you notice the body is morphing, but the new armor isn't yet morphing with the body. And that could be a problem um, as things poke through. So right there. So we need to rig this, uh, not rig it, but we need to set this up um, with the blend shape. So I'm gonna reset the value for now. The way you do this, uh, you can do it in the prefab level or you can do it right here and just override it. Uh, I'm going to do on the prefab level. If you do make, uh, make sure you do a, a prefab variant for your player character so that if you have uh, armor turned on and off, it, this won't affect that. Your variant should um, keep those selections. In this case, I'm going to make sure everything is turned on. Um, that's one requirement for this is that every object does need to be turned on, but you don't need to unparent it. So for these where all the ob objects are already turned on, we can just turn on the parent object. So we'll do that for all of these objects. And then we're just gonna click the reload blend shapes option here. Uh, now you're gonna see new options for the armor. 
But what this is really doing is also linking up all the uh, match shapes from the body itself and the other armor pieces um, so that you can have uh, a matching movement when uh, the body is morphed. So if we, for instance, um, go back and we'll just turn off these. Let's do armor two this time. Um, so we got armor two here. And uh, when we set max range and randomize all now, you'll see the armor is actually moving with the body. Now, as with all uh, of the blend shapes, the more you, you do it once, the more likely there are to have some weird artifacts poking through and stuff. But for the most part, you won't see much of that at all. And it's just something to be aware of. But now the armor is actually working with that. The great thing is now the armor also has the armor also has its own uh, blend shapes. There aren't too many options here, but you do have the option here to change the depth of this armor. You can kind of see that on the sides, uh, and also the overall depth. So if you want it to be a little tighter, and this is helpful for uh, wearing the clothing. For instance, you'll probably, if you're just gonna wear this over the bare skin, you'll want this a little tighter. But if you're gonna use this with other wardrobe, such as the shirt from the elf here, I'm gonna load up the elf wardrobe, turn off everything except for the shirt and the sleeves um, and the pants. So right now you have no pants. So now if you wanna work this with the um, shirt underneath, then you're probably going to want to keep that uh, blend shape option up. Um, just to uh, depend on the shirt to uh, allow it to fill whatever space you've got here. And this is going to be very based on whatever you have underneath. Some shirts are going to be more thick than others. Um, so there you go. Now when we, when we run this, so now you can see in the scene we've got, um, go back to the scene view, we've got the We've got the armor on top of the character with the shirt underneath, so there's no bare um, skin. If that works for you, and that works for me. And um, just, to, just to go a little bit deeper, uh, since the armor is provided in uh, uh, sub meshes, um, you can go even further and turn off, say, the fur if you'd like. Um, that, you know, especially if you're on like a mobile game where the fur doesn't really get seen or something like that, you can just turn all of these off completely and then there would be no fur. Um, or you could turn off the pauldrons. So in this case, pauldron two is the top pauldron. You could even turn off the bottom ones and the fur as well for those. And now you've got a different armor set completely. But go through all of these because there really is a lot of options here. Um, if, you, if you want to make these more or less um, detailed, um, turn off the corget here and see what that does. And if you do that, you're probably going to want to turn off the fur and then maybe the neck belt as well. So now you've just got more simple armor. So there's a whole lot you can do with these to design your own armor that works for your game. And of course, there are uh, multiple texture sets and the Substance Painter source files as well. So you can do a lot with that and uh, really get you know, unique looks that um, work best for you. Uh, whatever level of perfection you'd like. All right, turn these back on, have a look at the animations. So there you go. All right, have a great day.